Hello everybody and welcome back. As you remember in the last video we did some uh, REST tests so we created a test that uh, creates an entity so our user DTO and it uh, verifies it is correctly created and then it finds it by its ID and uh, verifies that that DTO that we found is also correct which is really nice and also you may remember that we created a couple of them and currently we have a problem that we can't list all of them. So there is no way for us to say, oh yeah, I would like to list all of the entities. Um, so how do we do that? What do we need to do to say, yeah, please fetch me all of the entities that you have that are users, so the user DTO. So one way to do that is to um, extend our controller to add an endpoint, to uh, list an endpoint, which would list all of the details. To do that, we need to extend some more stuff. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the, our abstract cradle service, which extends the, um, the API, so the abstract cradle API. And to the abstract cradle API, we can add a method um, that would call list. Um, uh, my keyboard switches all the time. Uh, list DTO and we can name it list so that's the name of the method for now we are just going to uh, return a list of uh, DTOs but later maybe we return some different DTO something um, that would provide us more information about what we are fetching so we will really worry about that later on let's add some documentation for it so that we know what this method does so uh, lists uh, all um, Sound or found details and turns and list of details. Not really descriptive, but yeah, for now, let's just leave it as this. Okay, let's go to the Apps Cradle service. So in if you press Control Shift minus, you get this nice stuff. And in the implementation region, we're going to override the method that we have. So if we go to uh, override methods so to override you can press uh, Control o and it will offer you this nice list where you can override stuff so you can select the list method and what do we do here so what's the next step how do you get all of the entities uh, from the database so our repository can do that for us so it has find all method which returns this so all we can name it um, something, but you can see that it returns an iterable, which is not really nice to work with. So we're going to actually uh, convert this into a list. In order to do that, um, we can type lists dot new array list. Uh, but you can say, hey, I don't have this. So where did you get this? I can't type list. It doesn't work for me. And as you can see, this is uh, from a, a library called Guava. So it's a Google library and I actually added a dependency to it. So if you go to the build Gradle file, by the way, if I jump to the file, you have this, um, not sure how it's called, crosshair, where you can uh, double click and it will actually lead you to the file. It doesn't happen anything because I already have it here. So it's uh, this file here. So the build Gradle, uh, you can just paste this in. So just this part. I didn't want to do it in the video because it takes a bit of time. So once you paste it in, the IntelliJ will offer you this Gradle refresh button so you can click it. If it doesn't, you have a Gradle tab here and you can click this button here and it will reload all of the Gradle projects. And once you have that done, um, then you will be able to do exactly what I'm doing here. And with this, we have a list of entities. Uh, so we don't want an array list, we can just say list. And uh, we can make this final and yeah, final list of entities and we can do some checks. We, for example, we want to check if this is actually empty. If you use collection utils, uh, collection utils from spring, we can do is empty entities. And if it is empty, what do we want to do? We want to return immediately here. We don't want to do anything else. We could return null, but that's not really nice. For example, um, if you use this service somewhere else and you return null, then you always have to do null checks and stuff like that. And uh, you can throw null pointer exceptions. So it's a really nice thing to do is to return an empty list. Uh, empty list. Yep. So we're returning an empty list. Perfect. What do we do next? We need to convert this list of entities into a um, yeah, list of details. 
we could do that here we could implement that logic here and um, basically loop through these entities and convert by by one by one using our converter and uh, create new list of dtos which is nice and we can just return it and okay but maybe it would be nicer if we actually do that in the converter so if you middle mouse click here our this convert method it will take you directly to our converter and there we have a public void convert method but let's create a public list dto uh, da, 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 da. convert list let's name it like that what it will take it will take final entity entity actually no it will take a list of entities list of entities and we can do this here uh, we didn't name it correctly so we need to name it convert list yep so what do we do um we can do one check immediately if our is empty we can rename this it's a list of entities so we have to name it entities if it's empty we again just return Turn an empty list we don't want to worry about it i know that i'm checking it here and somewhere else but um i want to check it there and here also because somebody else might call this method and we want to have this check here inside which is really cool okay so how do we check this so if we go into this uh stream map so we want to map this and it will we will call convert uh, convert x which is our entity and we want to collect actors to list and we just return don't worry i'll explain what we are doing here so the stream api is something super awesome so it offers you methods like dot map which means uh yeah take the whatever is inside so it's like a imagine it like a for loop not really but yeah so um we are looping to the entities and we're saying so this x here is an entity it's a single entity we can just name it entity to make it more clear so it's a single entity in this list in the entities list and we are saying yeah um map this list into so map this entity into whatever is returned here and from the this method you can see that the dto is returned so we are mapping it to the dto and then we are collecting this to a list and we can replace this with a direct call to this method here and let's make it a bit nicer and what this does is it really makes our code shorter and uh, nicer so for me this is really something cool you could do it with the for loop and create a list and just add all of the elements that you're converting one by one that would also work but for for this i think this is more nicer um the stream api offers a bunch of methods which you can implement we can maybe go later to some of them but all of them have explanations and you have basically anything that you need when handling lists so let's speed this up let's add some documentation to it um so converts uh, let's actually just copy this so it whoops nope converts forward entities to list of details And yep, let's go back to the, our abstract cradle service and let's return converter convert list and we provided a list of entities and that's it for the abstract cradle service. So we have that ready. What do we do now? We need an endpoint, a list endpoint. So we can search for our controller. Um, abstract cradle controller in the files and we have it here 
and we add at get mapping so this also will be a new endpoint and we can name it just list you can name it however you want and you can see so that the, the, um, the base endpoints so for example in the case of users it's slash api slash users now we will have slash list and what this will return it will be public list dto so we are turning a list of details we have to import this and we can just name it list or something like that and yeah we won't take anything and uh, return the api is list right that's it so if you do that and uh, we can actually restart our application so this should work or if it's not Oh, it's not even running so we can just start our application uh, for me it wasn't running and we can go to our rest test and we can do something like a check so we want to check if we can fetch all of our uh, details so how do we do that again rest template get for object and we have our URL plus now we have a slash list and the response type will be list class. Uh, so what? Okay. Yes, please import it. And let's see what we get details let's do some assertions uh, actually we can do um, yeah assert that details is not empty and so that just what can we check i'm not sure um we could check if the one that we are creating here is contained but let's for now just make sure that we can actually fetch them and that the details are not empty uh so let's run our test and see what happens and it passes so as you can see we made a we made a get request here to the users list and uh, we apparently got some users. Let's verify that. Let's use our nice postman and make sure that we uh, actually got it. So let's create a new um, new request. So it will be get, it will, I can actually just copy it from here. Um, paste that there, it's an API users list. And we can send it. And as you can see, here we get a list of all of the created uses that we have which is super nice so we actually made it uh let's try to save this how can i save 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 uh, okay let's give it a name get this get all users let's save it here and that's it so that's what, that will be it for this video. In the next one, we are going to continue with the implementation. We're going to add some more endpoints. As you may know, we do not have an option to delete something. So we're going to do that uh, in the next video. And yeah, if you have any questions, if you have any points, hints for me, please do let me know and we can talk about it and I can try to change our format if something is annoying you or if something's not clear, I can try to explain it again. So thank you very much. Thank you for um joining these videos and hope you enjoy it please do subscribe to my channel and like this video and yeah we see each other in the next one